Alright guys, welcome to another DTX Mania tutorial. And before we start, I would like to request that if this tutorial has helped you, please click the like button. And for more tutorial videos and rhythm game content, please press the subscribe button. Thank you! This is the continuation of the basic sim file making tutorial that I made. So if you haven't watched that, please click on the card that's coming right now. We're going to discuss a lot of topics as follows. How to assign default hit sounds. How to change BPM. How to change time signatures. How to put bonus fill in sections and bonus notes. How to disable and enable beat lines. How to use set def to group charts. And how to insert videos for your sim files. I'll be providing the timestamps for these topics as shown in the description of this video. Before we get to the rest of this tutorial, I will give you a tour of some things I haven't discussed here in DTX Creator. So here I have the template file opened. So let's go here in the wave tab. If we double click one of them, say the snare loud chip, the sound property dialog box will be opened. If you press the browse button, you can change this to whatever sound you like. I highly recommend using only OGG files. You can adjust the volume of the chip sound here. And you can set the sound position here where 0 is the center, negative 100 is leftmost, and 100 is rightmost. I'll open a DTX sim file that I made. Now let's go back to our workspace. Make sure you are in a select mode and when you right click in any bar, this will be the context menu. You can select all chips from a single lane. In this instance, we will select everything in the BD lane. You can select all chips from a certain bar. And you can insert bars or delete bars. We also have find operation in DTX Creator. To do this, just press Ctrl plus F. This will bring up the find and select box. This is pretty useful especially if you want to change a certain amount of chips to a certain hit sound. To select certain types of chips, just use the chip range. In this example, this will select all chips from 06 to 09. Just press find to start finding the chips. You will know that this is successful once DTX Creator says it finds a certain number of chips. To select chips on specific bars, you can use bar range. For example, I would like to select chips 06 to 09 from bar 25 to 26. I make sure that the bar range checkbox is checked. Then I will enter 25 and 26. Take note of these select from front chips and select from back chips checkboxes. Front chips are the normal chips you place and back chips are the special chips where you hold control as you place the chip. As discussed in the basic sim file making tutorial, closed hi-hat notes and right cymbal notes count as front chips, while open hi-hat notes and right notes count as back chips. With that in mind, you know when to use these two search criteria. Make sure that one of these is checked or a DTX creator will not do any kind of searching. Here I will only select front chips. And here, I will select only back chips. If you really want to select something specific, you should use lane select. Once you check the box, you will be greeted with a new set of check boxes. Select which check boxes you would like DTX Creator to include in the selection process. In this example, I want to select chips 09 up to 0F in the hi-hat lane and the left pedal lane. Since these are the notes that I want to delete, since I'm making an easier version of this song. Other than find, we also have the replace operation. To access this menu, press Ctrl plus H. You can proceed to use replace and it will automatically select all chips or you can use the find operation first to select certain chips, then use the replace operation. To use replace, you just have to enter two parameters. The first box tells which chip to replace and the second box tells what chip it should be replaced with. In this example, I want to change all 0B chips to 0C. And then I press replace. You can also use replace to change front chips to back chips and vice versa. 
How to assign default hit sounds To make sim file editing faster, we will be assigning default hit sounds so that we don't have to select a hit sound every time that we need to put a chip. So for example, we will select this loud snare sound as the default sound for the snare lane. All we have to do is select the loud snare, then make sure that we are in edit mode. Then click here in SD. Notice that above the SD lane, the hit sound value is now above, which means DTX Creator will now use the hit sound value as the default chip every time you want to use it in edit mode. Let's put another one here in the BD lane. We select the bass kick sound, then click here in BD. Notice that if you hover over the SD and BD lane, the chip automatically changes to the default hit sound that you have set. This will save you time from actively transcribing the song. Now what if for example we want to use a soft snare hit sound just once? Here, if we select the soft snare hit sound, which isn't the default hit sound, it still registers the default hit sound of the loud snare. All you have to do is hold shift while putting the chip. This overrides the default hit sound temporarily. To cancel the default hit sound for this lane, just right click on it. How to change BPM If you have a same file that changes BPM midway the song, such as Carab, then we have to use the BPM lane. All you have to do is switch to edit mode, then hover over the bar you want to change the BPM. You will notice that it changes to a gray box. Click here, then just specify the BPM that you like. How to change time signatures Say, we want to use a 3-4 time signature. Switch to select mode, then right click, then choose change part length. You can also do this by doing a right click, then pressing B. Since we want a 3-4 time signature, you just have to remember 3 divided by 4. It's that simple. So for 3-4, it's 0 0.75. For 7-4, it's 1.75 and so on. How to put bonus fill-in sections and bonus notes There are two kinds of bonuses in DTX Mania, the fill-in sections and individual note bonuses. A fill-in section looks like this. The fill-in starts at the first green tom and ends at the floor tom note. After the fill-in section, there will be an explosion effect. I'm using DTX Mania to preview this as any kind of bonus section will not show up in the DTX viewer. To do this, we need to use the FI or fill in lane. Let's take the sim file for example. Now let's go here to the BMP tab so we have a clean slate. To start the fill in section, simply assign a 01 chip. And to end the fill in section, assign a 02 chip. I'll show you how it's done. Now let's test the sim file. Again, the fill-in starts here in the first green tom and ends in the floor tom note. Now let's discuss the bonus notes. These are the glowing notes as pointed here, and when you hit them, they will give you a bonus score and explosion effect behind. Here's the bonus note guide chart. You should align the chip number to the note you want to assign the bonus note to. Now we're going to make use of the BN or bonus lanes. We will only be using BN1. So in this section, we want the bass kick to be the bonus note. So again, we go here to the BMP tab. We select 06, then put the chip here in BN1 tab at the exact time where the bass kick is. Be careful, this will not work if this is not aligned or if we use the wrong chip number. Okay, let's test this section now. As you can see, the bass note is glowing. And once you hit the bass note, you get a bonus core and an explosion effect. How to disable and enable measure lines If you want to add an element of rest in your sim files, you can disable the measure lines. Do take note that disabling the measure lines mean that the player will have no guide on the notes. The best scenarios to disable measure lines are when there are no notes, your sim file is ending soon, or the entire section is in free time and you just want the player to suffer which I highly don't recommend, unless you're the player yourself. Seriously, character should have no measure. Line. Again, here in my template sim file, if we go here in the free tab, you will see two lines. 
Here in 000, we're telling DTX Mania to disable the measure line starting from the first measure of bar 0. And here in 001, we're telling DTX Mania to enable it again in bar 1. Here's how it works. C2 is the command that tells DTX Mania to do something about the lines. The 02 tells DTX Mania to disable the measure line and the 01 tells DTX Mania to enable it again. Let's go a little in depth. Let's say here in bar 5, I want to disable the second line and put back the fourth line. You can do it by going here in the free tab and typing this. So let's put a space in between these numbers temporarily so I could discuss. So basically this is telling bar 5 on, off, off, on. I'll put a stair hit sound as a beat guide where there should be lines. Now let's preview the sim file. Notice when the snare notes arrive. You can also use this on other types of time signatures. For example, here we have a 6-8 time signature. Say here in bar 6, I want to disable the third line and I want it to go back on the fifth line. We go to free tab and type Again, I'll put snare note as beat guides and then let's preview the same file. Notice when the lines disappear and appear again. How to use set def to group charts. Let's say I have made three difficulties for my same file. A basic, advanced, and extreme difficulty. If we check the song here in DTX Mania, you will notice that they are divided into three songs and not a single song. We will make it into a single song where you can select a difficulty by assigning a supplemental file called Set Def. This is a file that tells DTX Mania to group a number of DTX SIM files into one title. I have supplied a Set Def template file and you can download the link in the description of this video. We just copy this set def file into the folder of this song we want to group. Now, we open the set def file and modify it ourselves. As you can see here, the set def has only three types of parameters, title, L1 to L5, and font color. Title is the name of the song. It is important to note that once you have a set def file, anything in the title will override the present title in the DTX sim file themselves. L1 to L5 is the level of the SIM file based on which box it will appear on DTX Mania. L1 will always be the lowest here and usually assigned to basic and L4 will usually be the master. L5 is an optional level and you will only use this if you would like to add an alternative difficulty to your SIM file like a lunatic version or an alternate version. For this example, we will only assign up to extreme. So we will delete the L4 and L5 label sections. Here in the file section, make sure to assign the respective same file for the difficulty assigned. If you make a typo in the file name, the song will not appear in DTX menu, so be careful. There is also another optional field here called font color. Here we can actually assign a specific color to your same file. If this field is removed, the default color of white will be used. Let's save this file. For the changes to take effect, we need to exit DTX Mania and restart. Now, let's go to the song we just put a set depth file and see what it looks like. And there we go, basic advanced and extreme difficulties, neat and nicely done. It is recommended to use only the following words in the label items. Using a label not mentioned here will assign you to the DTX Mania color which is gray. Notice the following labels that I will use for the difficulty settings here in the set definition file. Notice how DTX Mania will change the image for the difficulties respectively. How to insert a video for your SIM files. For videos, we recommend that you encode to H.264 format and a maximum resolution of 1 to 80 by 720 for the best gameplay experience. DTX Mania can support a frame rate of up to 60 frames per second. To add a video, just go here to the AVI tab, double click chip 1, then browse to your video file. Now while 01 is still selected, 
we just put down the chip here in the AVI tab. 